The rule summary page displays all event triggered rules as well as scheduled automation, which is located at the bottom of the page. For event triggered rules, you will see the customized name, what's triggering the rule, the time frame that the rule will apply to, what action is being taken, and what devices are affected. To the right of each rule, you will see three links. You can pause an active rule by simply clicking on the link. You can also restart the rule by clicking the paused link. If at any time you need to edit a rule, simply click the edit link, or if you want to completely remove that rule, click the delete link. If you would like to create a new rule, simply click the add a rule link located at the bottom of the section. At the bottom of the page, you will see scheduled automation. You will see the name of the schedule, what devices are affected, what days of the week the schedule will apply, and what action is going to occur. You will also see the three links that I described above. To create a new scheduled automation rule, simply click the add a schedule link at the bottom of the page.